Hi, my name is Andy Mann. I am from Muskegon Area ISD, and I'm going to be sharing about Chromebook accessibility tools to level the playing field. I do have a slideshow to go along with this. It's bit.ly slash CB accessibility tools, and that will give you an option to make a copy of this presentation. Now, to begin with, let's highlight one of the built-in Chromebook accessibility tools that's built into Google Docs that um, has been there forever, but some people don't know about it. Under the word tools is voice typing. You allow it to use its microphone. You can click here, and that when I click here, this is an amazing feature, exclamation mark. I could see how awesome it is just to get your ideas down into a document, period. There are 200 different um, commands it accepts. Uh, it, it also supports um, speaking in a different language, many, many different languages, um, as you can see over here. And uh, it's also available in Google Slides in the Notes section. So just to highlight that. Now, as we start to look at accessibility tools, we're going to begin by going under the three dots. We're going to roll down to settings. We can also get there down from the bottom toolbar. And under settings, over on the left-hand side, we are going to go to accessibility. If you don't see this, sometimes it's under a more. So under accessibility, um, a little window might pop up or it shows up right here. We are going to manage accessibility features. We're going to turn two on initially, and then we'll come back in a, in a minute and we'll turn on another one. All right. So the first one we want to turn on is called text-to-speech. This allows it to read aloud any text on the screen that's from a website. Um, if you do want to read text on a um, Google document, you have to first do it, click a little button that says publish to the web, then the Google document can be read aloud. So we're going to do select to speak. When you turn it on, it will add a little button down here that looks like a, a um, black circle with a speaker inside of it. There are some different settings you can have here too. There's also a couple of, there's a keyboard shortcut. The next one we're going to turn on down here is enable dictation, speak to type. So we'll go ahead and turn that one on. You can also change some language settings and things like that. There's one more we're going to turn on in a couple minutes that's way down here on the bottom and it's closed captions, but um, we'll leave that for a minute. I do have one other thing turned on right here that says show larger mouse cursor and you can adjust the size. Makes it a little easier if you're a presenter. So um, one other piece that I turned on is way up here at the very top. If I come back to manage accessibility features, I ask it to show the accessibility options in my quick settings. So that puts it down here on the bottom right. When I click on it, it puts a little icon for accessibility, and I can click on that and see things that are turned on or off. I will warn you about Chromevox. It's, um, if you turn it on, it'll drive you crazy. Don't turn it on. It reads everything on the screen at the same time, and it'll just drive you crazy. All right, so saying that, I'll go ahead and close these, and let's demonstrate how these different ones work. First one we're going to show you is the read aloud. Now I am using a website called Dogo News or Doggone News, some people say. It, it actually has some read aloud built into it. But just as an example, I'm going to come down. I'm going to use the Select to Speaks tool. I'll click it. And then I'm going to bring my cursor up and I'm going to drag over what I want it to read aloud. And it's going to put this purple or magenta um, border around what I've selected. And it's immediately going to start reading it aloud. Electric cars are a great way to reduce our carbon footprint. But French car maker Citroen believes more can be done to make vehicles sustainable. On so you get an idea how nice that is. And again, that works with any website. It's built into every Chromebook. Wow, that's pretty awesome does not work unless you have a Chromebook. If you have a Chrome browser on a Windows machine or a Mac, sorry, that's not available. The next one I want to show you is the using the microphone to input text. We did a, a demonstration of how that could work in Google Documents, but you can actually use it anywhere. So let's say that this student is doing an assignment, and in here they need to write in a Google Document and they open up the Google document and they read the question and they're ready to type their answer, but maybe typing, they just don't do a very good job of that. 
So one of the things you can do is you can click on this little microphone that shows up in my toolbar, and it's the dictation. It says, share a family tradition. So I'll go ahead and click the dictation button. One of our family traditions is that we hide a pickle ornament in the Christmas tree, and our children need to find it on Christmas morning, period. When they find it, they get to open the first present. I'll click it again and stop it. So you get an idea that I can use this anywhere where you need to type. You just click it and uh, click turn that on. So those are two of the ones that I wanted to highlight to begin with. Let me go ahead and show you. Um, I'll go ahead and turn that in. A third one, and that is inside this demo class, if I come on back to it and I look at my classwork, I have an assignment that is on stop motion video. And there is a video example in here of the stop motion video. And if I click on it, maybe um, I'm, I, English isn't my first language or um, I, you know, I just can't tell what they're saying. Some of you, I, I know you use that when you watch television shows and Netflix, especially those British shows, you, you wanna turn on the closed captions. Well, Google has a feature that will turn that on for any video, actually any media. It's really pretty awesome. So if I come on up here and I'll go back to my settings and I'll go back to my accessibility settings and manage the accessibility features. And this, is, this feature is available on any Chrome browser. It's not just Chromebook specific. I can't come way down here to the bottom and I'll come down to captions and I'll turn it on. So now I have captions turned on. There are some other settings you can do about the size and the location and the color and all that stuff. There's no save, I just turn it on. So now when I come in here and I want to watch this video and I open the video up and I click play. Now I'm showing you this because I wanted to show you this video with a, a Google Drive based video because you know that in YouTube, you can click the little button and turn on closed captions down in the corner. But you may not have realized that you can also do it with this close, this um, captions feature in any video source, doesn't matter where it is. The Easter Story by Eliza Mann. A lowly donkey was given to Jesus to ride into Jerusalem for his death and resurrection. At Jesus' last supper with his disciples before he died on the cross, he... Okay, so you can get this example here that the closed caption window can be moved around. Um, it can. You could have, in my settings, I could have changed the size and the color. Um, the one thing is that this tends to show up all the time once you turn it on. Um, sometimes even like, oh gosh, it's on again. I mean, like even if you're watching a video and you didn't want it on, if you do close it, the way to get it back on is you just refresh the screen. You just go in and just do a, a little screen refresh up here and then it reloads it. But if you're like, yeah, it's sort of in the way right now, you close it, it won't come back on Use the couple unless you refresh the screen, then it will show back up. So those are some of the accessibility features that I wanted to highlight for you. Um, my name's Andy Mann, and I hope that uh, you enjoy learning about some of these and, and you learn how that you can use these um, with your students. If the Chromebooks are locked down, I recommend you have a conversation with your technology director and ask them if they can make these so that they are enabled for your students. Thanks so much, and I hope you have a great day.